Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. So we're talking about addresses, we're talking about late payments, we're talking about getting negative nasty erroneous items off of your credit report. So an individual asked, hey, how do I get late payments off of my credit report? So you can dispute directly with the bureaus unverified late payments on the 609 dispute letters. You can put unverified late payments. You can also dispute late payments with the specific late payment dispute letter. You can also send goodwill letters directly to the creditor if you're still in good standing now with that creditor so you had a couple late payments a few late payments whatever it might be a specific you know amount of positive history some late payments good positive history now okay so you can send goodwill letters you can send late payment dispute letters and you can dispute unverified late payments with the bureaus directly okay so you can get these late payments off your credit reports you got the yep you know where to go 609 creditrepair.com Get that Beyond Commitment package where we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? Now, we're also talking about addresses, and an individual was talking about, hey, I moved. If I, you know, update my address, I do the mail forwarding, I've updated, you know, my addresses with wherever, you know, my credit card companies, my, my subscriptions, all this stuff, is it going to update with the bureaus? Yes, so eventually it's going to automatic up, automatically update. You could... You could take the time and send the letter in and, you know, update your personal profile information and update the address and get the old addresses off uh, by disputing. But yes, you're correct. Your address will update and it may take some time. It may take, you know, 30 days or 60 days or what, whatever their cycle might be to catch up. But, you know, a month or two, you're going to have that updated address. So when you've got collections, you've got charge-offs, you've got negative, nasty, erroneous items, oftentimes they will utilize an address and give it a code, give it a code, a, a number, and you've got the collection with the address code and you'll have an address with the address code. And so these addresses are tied to collections and charge offs and these, these accounts, okay? So yes, I was able to clean up my credit. I got negative, nasty, erroneous items off 15 negative accounts on each one of the bureaus for a total of 45 negative accounts, got all these negative, nasty, erroneous items off of the credit reports. At the time, I didn't know. I didn't know I could update my personal profile information and get these old, negative, nasty, erroneous addresses and accurate addresses off there, especially if this individual's moving, if you're moving, update your personal profile information, get the addresses off, and it makes it so you are disassociating from old, negative, nasty, erroneous, inaccurate, obsolete, outdated information, from the addresses and the collections and these charge-offs and these negative items, okay? It's part of the process, but yes, I did get these negative, nasty, erroneous items off of my own personal reports without doing the address update. So it's part of the process. It's not the only thing. The main thing is disputing these unverified negative items with the bureaus, with the collectors, with the creditors, if necessary, and getting them to say, hey, you know, we don't have it. We can verify it. And oftentimes, they're not able to verify 100% Per the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and if they can't, it must be that's right, it must be removed from your credit reports. 609CreditRepair.com, we can do the work for you, the awesome life group.com. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, try button, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.